the sound of that. What it means to live country is, is more of a state of mind and not about, you know, cowboy hats and living on a farm. It's about your core values and your beliefs and a way of life. There is a warmth that, you know, that a lot of people have uh, in the South. I need you now. Country music is one genre where you can have your family. Like, it's, it really is so much about family. Keep going, keep going. Growing up country, I think, means growing up with, around and with your family and uh, having great values and great morals. I could die the happy man. I don't think being country is where you're from. Uh, I think it's just kind of a, a lifestyle. I grew up in Augusta, Georgia. I grew up kind of more in the suburbs, so I wouldn't say it was super, super country, but uh, my dad was from the North Georgia mountains, and so um, we would go a lot up to where he was from, and in the summers uh, when I was in high school going up and, you know, working on the, uh, working on, on the land and tractors and stuff and with cattle, and it was, it was, it was an interesting eye-opening experience for me. And I actually grew up in Nashville, and my mom worked in the country music industry. So I grew up, um, you know, it's, it's interesting to see um, how country music has grown and just being around that my whole life, and now I'm still around it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you don't want to say there's a, there's, a, there's a slowness about it, because, you know, there isn't, but there is, you know, as I've gone to California or New York, it's, there, it, it's just so hectic and fast-paced and in your face that there is a softness, I would say, from growing up in the South that you get, um, you know, very welcoming, you know, you walk in a place like, hey, y'all, you, you never meet a stranger. Uh, so there is a lot of that that, um, that you get growing up uh, in the South. I, need you now. I think that especially country music is one genre where you can have your family. Like it's, it really is so much about family. We have so many great friends who are in this business who, you know, our kids are friends and it is centered a lot on family. Something about when I'm down here, I kind of, I'm much better at just shutting it out and really focusing in, uh, you know, on, on Cassie and, and and now Ward, and it's just our happy place. I think we both talk about it, that we worry, you know, for Ward, because he's gonna grow up in a situation with a lot more than Charles and I had growing up. Um, even just the fame aspect of having a dad who people, you know, know beyond just our community is, is interesting, and we want him to feel empowered to make his own path and not just to feel like he has to be as successful or you know as famous or whatever, you know, comparing himself to his dad. So, but he already has such a great sense of self and is a kind person. I want him to watch. You know, I want him to have a little bit of that uh, sense of self and spirit, and uh, and you know, as he's looking to find what he wants in out of life, but still have a little bit of that kind of softness and you know, hopefully some empathy as you know down the line. We love to travel and, and I, we feel so fortunate that Ward gets to kind of see a world beyond, you know, just his. And that's one thing that, you know, I never got to really see until Lady Annabella. And uh, I feel, you know, so lucky that we were able to give him that experience. You know, hopefully he'll, you know, become so much more of a appreciative of, of just the world, the different cultures and uh, ethnicities, you know, throughout it. What it means to live country is, is more of a state of mind and not about, you know, cowboy hats and living on a farm. It's about your core values and your beliefs and a way of life. Hey girl, you make me want to write a song. Growing up country, it means growing up with, around and with your family and having great values and great morals. And, and uh, you know, I hope me and Lauren are doing a good job setting great examples for our girls to, to grow up to be stand-up people and, and um, always kind to one another and 
uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think being country is where you're from. Uh, I think it's just kind of a, a lifestyle. It goes like we grew up country, but we also grew up knowing, uh, you know, kind of what country music meant. You know, and to me, what my dad always taught me that country music was was the truth, and country music was a story, and country music was a was a form of music that made you feel uh, laughter, happiness, sadness, all kind of emotions told in about a, a three minute genuine story. We're adopting the sheet is the cutest little girl that you ever seen. Keep going, keep going. It took us about a year and some change to finally get Willa Gray home and uh, she just has the biggest personality, um, one of the most unique personalities I've ever seen in a child. Um, two and a half, forming complete sentences, uh, you know, has a real funny sense of humor and um, she's just been, she's been a dream. You know, then four months later after she, after she got home, oh, Willa and sweet Ada, James, Ada pops into the picture. Willa Gray just became uh, protective in ways, um, just has really just filled in that big sister role like a champion. Uh, and now, you know, now that Ada's, I mean, starting to, she's starting to say hi and bye and, you know, took 24 steps to Lauren the other day, like things are just happening so fast. And I just, I love getting them to uh, kind of grow up the way that I grew up. It's not a better way to grow up. I just, you know, it's just what, what I love doing and love being outdoors and uh, getting, getting to raise them in that kind of same way is really, really special to me. It's always been a dream of mine. When I did have kids, like I always hoped that I would be able to uh, have a bus that, that that we could all travel on together, and it kind of just feel like home on the road. It's just really cool to to, to be able to travel uh, as a unit like that while I, while I still go do uh, my job. I feel like I, I've played less shows this year than I have in my whole life, but I feel twice as busy, um, and I, and I think that that just comes with the nature of, of being a dad. Do you think you can lift all of these things and hand them to daddy so I can put them in the back? Every week I feel like I've got it under under control. And then like a 24 hours goes by and your kids have already changed astronomically. I just love watching the process, man. I, you know, it's been a dream of mine to be a dad for as long as I can remember. And so I, I'm so glad I get to live that dream uh, with my wife and, and, and that I get to do uh, my passion on the road with them. Uh, it's a pretty perfect scenario. What it means to live country is, is more of a state of mind and not about, you know, cowboy hats and living on a farm. It's about your core values and your beliefs and a way of life. For me, uh, being in the South, there's a wholesomeness to it that feels very safe. important for me that they're uh, ingrained in a good church and have that good foundation to build upon. And I think that's a core value system that you'll find anywhere you go in the South. And for me, they have to use their manners, that nobody can just say yes or no. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. Can you believe what a lucky guy I am with these horseshoes? <laughs> when you have kids, and especially growing up the way that I did, we, we never had a lot. So I want to do everything I can to make their lives as magical growing up as I can, but at the same time, you don't want them to be spoiled brats, because that would be no fun to live with either, so there's a, there's a delicate balance there, I think. My kids have both been with us to Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. Jay and the Flats have a, the Rascal Flats Surgery Center there at Vanderbilt Children's, and I volunteer a lot there, and I'm president of the board of directors there right now. And People so, get confused about that. We're not actually doing the surgeries. It just has our name on it. They're confused. So I'm, yeah, I wanted, wanted to clear that up. I built a jet ski. Out of Legos? One of the things that I shared with them from my childhood is sitting around the piano and singing because I did that with my mom and dad. My dad would sit down and play the piano and we'd all sing. And it's been so neat to sit around that piano back there with my kids and sing. I mean, that's that's a family tradition that has carried on. Life's like a road that you travel along. There's one day here and the next day gone. I come off the road. It's so great. I mean, we don't go out and do a bunch of stuff because when I'm here, I want to be with my kids and my family. I know it sounds so boring and mundane, but those little things are some of the things that mean the most to me. From a very young age, our children have known the word fellowship because I'll always turn the TV off and say, nope, we're going to fellowship. So that way I want them to know that they have to share things because if he has been gone, I want him to tell him about it. And it's so cute in their voice and 
from their perspective what's happened in their lives. There's a pelican. I think our kids live in an extraordinarily different life than what I lived growing up. So pretty much everything about their life is different than, than, my, than mine was. So and, and, and you know what? I'm thrilled to be able to be blessed enough to be able to do that for them. It really, it really makes all the long miles and all the long hours away from home worth every bit of it.